Yes. Well, not just the the uh, the Brahmana's child, the birth of the Brahmana's child. Right? You have to understand that. Is it? She's. Uh, he is asking. Is that the uh, king hasn't provided good facility for the delivery of of the child? Yeah. Well, it's a. You could call it the karma of the state. The king is responsible for the karma of the state. So the, the king, in the times of Lord Krishna, he had that responsibility. He has to, he has to do yajna. He has to perform sacrifice, and then that way there there will be a, a prosperity in the kingdom, and the people will be comfortable and opulent and happy, and no disturbance. Yes, this Right, because the king is ruling the kingdom, so he decides everything and he takes taxes from the people. So with the taxes which he takes from the people, he's supposed to perform sacrifice and satisfy the different demigods and the Supreme Lord. And when the Supreme Lord is satisfied, then he will bestow all kinds of gifts of nature on the people in the kingdom. Yeah, the, the kingdom shouldn't be too hot and it shouldn't be too cold. Everything should be just nice for the people to live. Then the, when the king does everything nicely, when he takes care of everything, then the demigods are pleased with him, and then they bestow all the gifts of nature on the people. So the Brahmana, uh, he, he said that my children are dying at birth. There's something wrong, there must be something wrong in the government. The king is at fault. He said, the Brahmana said, I'm not doing anything wrong. And so the Brahmana blamed, it, just like today, you know, people will blame the government, people will blame the government, 
so the, this Brahmana, in, in the times of this Brahmana, there was no government, but there was a king, and the king was the government. So, when the Brahmanas' ch children were dying so suddenly, without any good reason, he blamed the king. He said, this king must be envious. Oh, there's something, the king must be doing something wrong, that my children are all dying. It's not protecting my children, it's not protecting me. I want to have children. The king should be giving me protection. And the Brahmana was, he, he described all the, what he considered to be the, the faults of the king. Now, it, even there was, there was one king, it's described in Srimad Bhagavatam, there was one king who was a very demonic king, he was very cruel. And even when he was a young boy, he would play with other young boys, he would kill other young boys. His name was King Vena, and, and all the people knew him as Cruel Vena, and whenever he came, and he said, oh, here's cruel Vena coming. They'd all run away. Nobody wanted to be near him. And he stopped. He stopped all the sacrifices. He wouldn't let the Brahmanas make any sacrifices to the Supreme Lord. He said, you want to make any sacrifice, you make them in my name, offer to my name. So because there was no sacrifice, the, there was no rain and there were no crops growing. Mother Earth would not yield any any crops because she was so being treated so badly by this demonic king. And so there was no food growing, the people were starving. So the Brahmanas had a meeting, the Brahmanas decided they would have to kill the king. So they killed him by cursing him. Mm 
于是他们便发出诅咒，把这个国王诅咒死了。Yeah, and just and just by the words of the Brahmanas, this king died. 单单是凭借他们说出的话语，所发出的诅咒，就这名国王就死了。But when the king died, they kept his body. They preserved it. 当当国王死去之后，他们保留了他的尸体。And、they kept his body because he understood there must be something good there in his body. Although the king was a demon, they understood there must be something good in his body because he's coming in the line. He's 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 in a he's a descendant of Dhruva Maharaj. So, 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 so,
，所以他断定以错误运势出在国王身上。So Prabhupada is pointing out if you become the king, it's a very responsible position. In Srimad Bhagavatam, we have the example about how Yamaraj got cursed. Yeah, somebody, there was one great sage, Manduka, Manduka Muni, and he he said he was not treated fairly, and so he cursed Yamaraj. And Yamaraj had to be to become a sudra. He was born in the womb of a sudra woman, but it was a blessing for Yamaraj. And when Prabhupada was writing that about uh, Yamaraj being cursed, at that time he wrote a letter to the managers of the ISKCON, to the GBC who manage ISKCON. He said in the same way, he said, you, you're the senior managers of ISKCON, you must do everything very fairly so that you do not get cursed like Yamaraj. <laughs> So to be responsible for other people, it's not an easy job. So this king, the brahmana was blaming the king. You know, <laughs> sometimes you may have, you may, you may be doing something, and you may say, "Well, it's not my fault." You may think it's not my fault. But the Brahmana was thinking, no, it's your fault. You're the king. You have to do something about it. So the king must be a very good character. To take that position as king, you have to be a very good character. But if the, if the king is a bad character, then the people will never be happy. Yeah, the people will they'll be poor and they'll always be in anxiety. Now of course in times modern times today we don't have people who are we don't have many kings in the world. And even if someone may be the president of the country, but they often they don't have much responsibility either. But people become the, the heads of the country, they get elected by other people. 
他为一嗯一国的首脑，他们之所以当上首脑，是嗯被选举出来的。So when they get the, the, even though they get, they get elected by all these all the people voting for them, the people's lives don't change. They remain all the 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 people are still unhappy. They're still、uh, in anxiety and they're dissatisfied. 虽然人民选选举了这位总统，他们的生活依然如故，他们既不快乐又很焦虑，他们内心很不满足。So the Vedic culture it 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 shows how organized everything is. That you know somebody people are responsible. They take. The, the responsibility is there.、And、just like the Brahmana came there to Dwarka complaining, and Arjuna said, "No, just a minute." He said, "You know, why you say that?"、Like? He said, "I I am here to protect. I am a Shatriya, and I can protect your children." One, 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 one,
And if I'm not able to do that, then I'll enter into fire, I'll give up my life. And that way I'll be able to overcome the contamination which must have affected me. So this is an important pastime we're going to hear. We're going to hear about how Lord Krishna is the supreme over all the different expansions and uh, incarnations which come from him. People often think Vishnu is the supreme, but Vishnu also comes from Krishna. Well, first of all, from Lord Krishna comes Lord Balaram. And then from Balaram comes Saint Kashan. And then you get the chapter Vyuha, you get the four forms of the Lord. There's Vasudev, Sankarshan, Aniruddha and Prajumna. And then from them, then there's a second chapter of Vyuha. And from the Sankir, from the Vasudev form, there comes the three Purusha avatars. And you get Mahavishnu first of all, then you get Garbhodakashaya Vishnu, and then you get Shirodakashaya Vishnu. So these three Vishnus, they are called the Purusha avatars and they are all coming, you can see they are all expanded from Lord Krishna originally. So ultimately Lord Krishna is the highest truth. And this pastime is going to illustrate this. Okay, are there any questions? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, Sandamanaji said that uh, in our place there is a big uh, temple. Uh, they put Krishna's book in the temple. Shall we go to see how they uh, deal with all, all those books? Uh, should we fetch all those books back? So, Guru, please uh, instruct. You mean all the books are all our Krishna books? The books is uh, related to Krishna consciousness. They put the book in the maybe Buddhist, local Buddhist uh, big temple. Are they our books so? 
Yes, all books. Well, I mean, and if you want to go and see who's reading them. The books may be there, nobody reading them. But they're there in the in the library. It's good. We hope somebody will go to the library one day and read them. But I don't think you want to go and take the books away from the library. So Guru, uh, my question is that uh, how to understand that if a king um, hasn't carried uh, out his duty to protect people, um, but nowadays there are many unqualified rulers and people are all suffering and how to understand how to understand well that's the nature of the material world that people are suffering and everyone has got their own different karma someone's got the karma to be the king and someone's got the karma to be the citizen. So everyone's suffering and enjoying according to their past activities under the control of Krishna. Uh, so, is that the pre King Pritu, another soul has entered into the body, the body of Vena? Yes. Shida, Shida. By the power of the Brahmanas. It's not the library of the temple that they they have no nowhere to put the books, therefore they put the books in the temple. Well, do you want to go and take them? If you take them, what are you going to do with them? Are you going to go and distribute them? If you want to go and distribute them, okay. You ask the people there, can you take the books? Probably they will agree and probably say, yeah, take them if you want. 
But don't just she take. Said, huh? She said, she said that um, if there is a need, I will keep the book. If there, I don't need them, I will distribute the book. Okay. So do it. No, no more questions. Right. No more questions. Okay. Yes. All right. So then we'll stop here this evening. Thank you very much. Om Ganshi Guru Mani Ki Wamar Fani Ganshi Padmamukhi Jujur Ganshi Sorry Functions and LinkedIn Wamar Jufu Niman Wan An Hare Krishna Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Really?